Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy News Week for the week of February 18th, 2023. Here's where I fill you in on some notable news posted to NoisyPixel.net this past week. If you didn't catch it, we started a Noisy News Flash. That's a short episode in the middle of the week where I go over some news, but we decided that next week I will be extending this to maybe every day, every other day. You'll just see a lot of me. If, if that's what you want, let me know. Because while I enjoy doing these long news segments, which we will continue to do, I also want to do short clips of big news that happened that day so that we can kind of have a conversation about it quicker than waiting till Saturday to do it when all you guys are doing laundry and doing your chores and stuff. See, you don't have time to comment when you're doing your chores. I get it. I'm there. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping over here dreaming about making content for all of you. How sweet is that? This past week was Valentine's Day. You all were my Valentine, whether you knew about it or not. Let's pretend like I did ask you and then you said yes to being my Valentine because I, <laughs> I already know you'll say yes. I mean, I'll say yes to you if you ask me, so. Irregardless, here we are. I've been playing Octopath Traveler 2, oh man, for like 76 hours or something like that. Very long game, but I am now moving on to other games that I am excited about and that are going to be shown next week. And yeah, I'm very excited. Please let me know what you're playing in the comments below and we will talk about it. Top of the news, big headline. HoYoVerse has officially announced that the English voice actor for the Genshin Impact character, Teganari, the guy's name was Elliot Jin, Jindi, Gindi, Gindi? Well, who cares? Because he will be officially stepping down from his role as a character due to a breach of contract. As a result, subsequent cutscenes that feature the character will not be voiced by him. And communications with the voice recording agency are currently underway regarding matters of casting and re-recording every single line from that character. The reason why this dude has been fired is because he's been involved in a pretty severe, pretty serious controversy. Last week, there was allegations that arose that he is grooming and uh, maybe committing some pedophilia on the side. Come on, man. What is this? What is this? There has been multiple victims that have anonymously reported him, which caused multiple posts to be posted. This includes the voice actor's colleagues and requests came in to remove Elliot from his role. Now I know that people like to get the pitchforks out pretty quickly, but this is very serious story and following it, it seems like this dude is a creep and deserves anything that's coming to him. So here we go. It's terrible news for anybody that's been affected by this person and his methods. I am sorry that this ever happened to anybody and with this heavy news i want to ask you how you feel about this announcement and if you've been following genshin impact and what your thoughts are on the removal of this voice actor in the comments below now let's go on to some lighter news Whew, not used to that p cubed announced that they will publish the pyramid developed 3d arena fighter alice gear aegis cs concerto of Simul simul simulatrix 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 that's a weird name on ps4 ps5 and switch on march 16th there will be a physical release and a digital release for this title but i want to simmer you down because okay no new trailer was made with this release date announcement which is very concerning and the press release for this announcement was very minimal. Wasn't good. I'm, I fear for this game. I fear for the launch of this game. So all I can say is wait for our review, wait for other reviews, but specifically wait for our review because that's why you're all here. Binary Haze Interactive released a final trailer before the release of Redemption Reapers, their dark fantasy tactical RPG on PS4, Switch, and PC, releasing on February 22nd, 2023. Be sure to check out our review when we share it, but the game will launch digitally and physically later on. Their first title, Ender Lilies, I just received the physical of that the other day. 
so expect it to be a while probably for that physical release, but this game looks freaking great. So if you're excited about it, let me know what you think. The trailer's awesome. Very cool looking game. I'm excited about it. Sony Interactive Entertainment announced via the PlayStation blog that a few PS1 classics will be coming to PS4 and PS5, The Legend of Dragoon and Wild Arms 2 to be specific, along with a few others for their premium subscription service. That's $120 a year, but you can also buy the game standalone. They will come with some quality of life features, you know, save states, fast forwarding, all that good stuff, uh, high res textures, and I am so excited about this. I kind of want to review it. I kind of, I'll re I think I'll review Legend of Dragoon. It's been a dream. It's, it's been a f***ing dream of mine to review Legend of Dragoon. Love the game. I can hear the music in my head. <sighs> Moving on. Deep Silver announced that the Damn Buster Studios developed a zombie action RPG Dead Island 2 has gone gold. Why not? And so they've pushed up their release date by a week to April 21st, 2023. Their previous release date was April 28th, 2023, which many will know is the new Star Wars Jedi Survivor release date. So get the hell out of the way of that game. Move your game up a bit. Smart move, Dead Island 2. I've been waiting 13 years for that game. On to visual novel news, we only have one. Idea Factory International decided to have a hour long live stream. <laughs> Totally trolling the Atome community, making them wake up at like 6 a.m. to watch this hour long live stream for two minute trailer, revealing that they will publish the Charade Maniacs? Charade Maniacs. <laughs> I'm not reading that correctly. <laughs> Pronounce. Charade. 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 <laughs> the publisher announced that they will release the Charade Maniacs in the West on Switch in summer 2023. Charade. I knew that. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long week. Chill out. Interviews on the side. We got Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse interview with the producer and director. Why not? Go check it out, please. It's a really good one. There's some stories about Suda51 in there. There's some stories about development, the Deception series. It's all there. Please check it out. Previews on the site, we got Dragon Quest Champions on mobile devices. Also, reviews on the site, we got Crimson Flower that divides Looter Company, Theat Rhythm, Final Bar Line. And yes, it's Theat Rhythm because I looked it up and the producer calls it Theat Rhythm, so I'm gonna call it Theat Rhythm. That's just how it goes. We got Blanc. We got Tales of Symphonia remastered on Switch. We got Metroid Prime remastered. We got Wild Hearts, Like a Dragon Ishin, and Octopath Traveler 2. And guys, that's it. That's the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great week. I'll see you in the comments. <laughs>